Amy, we're back to London this weekend against Bradford. Looking forward to that. Yeah, I am actually because uh, I did. I thought the team had a lot of talent, the Bradford team last time, um, and they never give up uh, right to the end of the game. So yeah, it'll be it'll be exciting, and I I always say it, and I'm always a firm believer of you know it, it's all depends on the day for me. So yeah, it's just exciting to to get a game. And the, and then they are old club. Um, how much do you enjoy playing against Bradford? Um, yeah, to be honest, I do. I, I enjoy playing against Bradford, but I know when I was there, I don't believe there's that many people still there now. I think they've either like moved on, so it's not like I'm playing against my old club in a way because there's a lot, most of them out there anymore. Um, and obviously, last week really disappointing not to play against Castleford. How it was that? It was really frustrating. Um, I think just because we like to keep on a roll, we like to keep going, and and I think when you have a bit of a stop like that, as as well, especially when it's unexpected. Um, but it, it's one of those things, and it can't be helped. And in in the times that we're in at the moment, we can't grumble. I think it is just one of those things, and is what we've got to kind of expect, I guess now. Um, the last game, the defeat against Saint, has that made the team more determined to come back stronger from that? I think so, definitely. I think that game, um, we weren't ourselves, and anybody that's the elite um, Rhinos women supporter would probably agree that that wasn't us. That wasn't us as a team, and it's not how we normally play. Um, so we definitely are, and I think so far. We have been successful in our team, in our games, and I think that to us was a bit of a wake up call um, more than anything. So, but perhaps it's done us a massive favour, to be honest. I mean, you've started the season beaten. Uh, you still think there's more to come from the the team? Definitely, because there's a lot of new ones that have that have come in, a lot of younger ones that have stepped up and. You know, we've had a few injuries and, you know, a few shift around in positions. So, I guess, in a way, we're still finding his feet and players are still seeing where they, where they fit in and, you know, where they feel more comfortable playing. So, I definitely think there is more to come. And the more we play and train together, I think that'll just come naturally eventually, yeah. And how are you enjoying those new players in the squad, do you feel like they've settled in well? Yeah, I think so, definitely. To be honest, it feels like we've always been uh, that that team. And it is nice to have young ones coming up, and especially such talented young ones as well. And they are, all of them are so talented. Um, so it's exciting, I think, as I'm probably winding down <laughs> my career, theirs is only just taking off. So it's, it's exciting, yeah, to see what, what's in store for him in the future because the women's game is only going to get bigger and bigger now so you know for me it wasn't ever this big but for them they're going into something that's going to be you know massive yeah absolutely and just finally um david and anthony gibbs have been leading the training obviously you've worked with them for such a long time but how are you here with those guys in charge yeah, um, <laughs> I love them Gibbo twins for me. Uh, yeah, they're just, to me, I just think they're so funny and they're very like, you're old fashioned, say it how it is, coaches. And they have done a great job. They've done amazing. Um, and Omar as well. All amazing while Lois has been away. Yeah. It's nice to be back with the team after that such a long time out, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Because I think you go a little bit stir crazy as well, and like you can do your exercise yourself, which is what I were doing, just try to keep myself sane, exercising every day. But I don't think you, um, I don't know. I just don't think you really appreciate it until you put in that position where you are isolated, and then you know you go into that team setting again, and it just it feels really good to be back with your friends. Yeah. And just for people who might not know, Amy, explain to people that about your work how you combine 
working with with your career as a, a Rhinos player? So I, so it's changed quite a bit now. So I used to work at Specsavers, and then we, me and my partner, have recently uh, been approved for fostering. So now I'm a foster carer, and I still work part time as well. So that's me, and then obviously training on top, and then trying to fit your extras in. So. It has got a little bit more hectic, but yeah, I enjoy it. 